Nanotechnology refers to our ability to manipulate materials at atomic scales or molecular scales, specifically at length scales of 100 nanometers or less. At those dimensions, we can use physics really to do things that we can't do with macroscopic materials. The Research Triangle of North Carolina uh, is a dynamic area of the country. Uh, it's anchored by three universities, North Carolina State University, Duke University, and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. A lot of research activities, a lot of startup companies, a lot of large companies, uh, and we have a lot of collaborative activities amongst all of those different types of organizations. The RTNN is a partnership between NC State Duke and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. The whole goal of the RTNN is to open access to nanotechnology facilities. The RTNN is one site of 16 in NSF's funded National Nanotechnology Coordinated Infrastructure, or NNCI. Uh, so all of these sites across the country have similar types of charges to open access to their facilities. The Kickstarter program is a great way for people to get started using an RTNN facility. So this program is designed for non-traditional users. These are users who either work somewhere that is not a Research One institution or uh, work in an academic discipline that doesn't traditionally use core facilities like ours. These non-traditional users can apply for up to $1,000 of free time in our facilities. And once we uh, receive applications, we are able to turn them around within a week so that people can get started working in our facilities very quickly. Our TNN's Kickstarter program uh, allowed us to get uh, a little bit of funding for free from National Science Foundation through the Kickstarter program to get trained on certain pieces of equipment and do the first few proof of concept experiments that we needed to, to do. Nanotechnology A Maker's Course is, first and foremost, a maker's course. And if you know anything about maker space, what this means is that we teach you how to make things. So this course is about making nanotechnology and measuring nanotechnology. The RTNN decided to make the course because we wanted to broaden the horizons of people. As we say uh, in the course, you can't use something if you don't know about it. And so the course is designed to help people understand what tools are out there. We have a lot of startup companies within the Triangle who um, definitely make use of the facilities because it is so much easier for them to rent an hour's worth of time on our equipment versus trying to buy that piece of equipment outright. Protochips is a small company who makes uh, in situ holders for the transmission electron microscope. Protochips and RTNN interact mainly with the microscopy facilities. RTNN has some of the most advanced transmission electron microscopes in the world. And many of our products, most of our products, go on microscopes like these at the RTNN. RTNN facilities are uh, really valuable for us as a, as a small company. The equipment here is worth millions of dollars. They have to be placed in a clean room. Um, and we only need them for like a few hours a month. So having those facilities available uh, for a startup company to just rent on an hourly basis, really we could not survive without them. Professor David Berube, uh, North Carolina State, has a comprehensive assessment program uh, for our RTNN project. The feedback we get from Professor Berube is critical uh, to the decisions that we make within the RTNN facilities. Uh, we use that in discussions with our um, advisory boards and uh, development of strategic planning. There are not many areas in the country where you can have three universities in this close proximity that are collaborating together. And so that's really one of the strengths of our site, is the fact that you have three Research One institutions that have these nanotechnology facilities that are coordinating and have programs to get people in the door. The Heidelberg Direct Right System gives us the ability throughout the RTNN, all three universities, to actually create hard photo masks now. Because we, we buy these mask plates that are already coated with the photo material and the chrome. We can write the masks in-house that day, develop them, etch them, and we can have a working photo mask same day instead of sending it out to a commercial company. One of the unique instruments of our site is an aberration corrected scanning transmission electron microscope. First off, you can image atomic columns with incredibly good precision. Um, not only can we see atomic columns, uh, we can also look at which atoms constitute those columns. We're constantly pursuing opportunities uh, to obtain those instruments that will propel those individuals, uh, researchers, as well as the collective research across the triangle and across the country. 